Thank you. Thank you to the Toosies. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Toddy and Evie. There's some foxy ladies over there. Feeling a little bit intimidated being on the stage with you ladies. But everyone, welcome to the 2010 Antenna Awards. My name is Jess Harris. I've been involved in Channel 31 for a couple of years now, created my own show, been in um, some other shows, Studio UA, who's up for an award tonight. But basically, I'm just a Channel 31 enthusiast. So I was honoured when I was asked to, to help out this evening. And I think in keeping with the trends of feisty females stepping up into power in the past week, I think it's, it's yeah, I think it's quite fitting that I will be your leader this evening. Well, your host, you know, boss, leader, host, whatever kind of rolls off the tongue. I guess I am kind of the boss tonight, though. I, um, I, yeah, I'm excited to be here. There were uh, a few other male hosts that were keen to step up and take the job tonight, but when they found about, out about the preparation involved, they freaked out, held a press conference and cried in front of the Channel 31 board. <laughs> and begged me to take control. So I'm here and I'm ready to lead you through tonight's procedures. Because, thank you. Because it's, it's a big night we've got, a, uh, we've got here for you. We've got lots of prestigious guests. We've got Channel 31 talent coming out of our ears, past and present. We're broadcasting live in Perth and we have a lot of live entertainment for you and your viewing pleasure for everyone at home. But tonight is all about congratulating and celebrating standout performances in community TV. Um, everyone's here in the room because they're passionate about what they do and you're not gonna sit around and wait for an opportunity to be given to you. You've gone out and you've done it yourselves. So you really only have yourselves to thank. So I'm sure the speeches are gonna be fairly self-indulgent tonight, uh, short, which might be good. But honestly, I do think that the work that you do here is just the same as you would do anywhere else because, you know, the ratings, the network, the budget, it doesn't matter. I think a good idea is a good idea and talent stands out with or without the fancy trimmings. So tonight, let's celebrate all things Channel 31. Let's take our hats off to the talent in the room and, you know, let's get into it because I know everyone's thinking, yes, community TV, diversity, togetherness, blah, blah, blah. Give me a trophy. Give me something shiny and heavy that will validate my life. Well, I'm not going to make you wait any longer. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2010 Antenna Awards. I hope everyone's having a good night. Yes, it's a good sign. It's flying by. I'm sure the winners are having a much better time than the losers at this stage, or the unsuccessful, I should say. Um, but I, I too have been an unsuccessful Antenna nominee. So I thought I'd share a few little uh, lines that you can tell, tell yourself to take the sting off a little bit. You've got your classic, uh, you were robbed, should have been you, they're jealous. <laughs> then if you need to step it up a little bit, there's always tall poppy syndrome. It's rife in the Australian industry. It's a good one. But my favourite, my personal favourite is, they're just not ready for your sort of talent yet. <laughs> You're ahead of your time. So bring that one out, a couple of cocktails, gut-wrenching cry in the public toilets and you'll be fine. <laughs> your failure will be a distant memory tomorrow and your hangover, your reality. So on a lighter note, let's move on to one thing Channel 31 definitely knows how to do and that's diversity. 